This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 6. First up tonight at 6 o'clock, parents in the town of Granby very upset, wondering why a young student brought a knife to school. Good evening and thanks for joining us for the news at 6. I'm Erin Connolly. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Zinni. We are told a fifth grader was showing classmates a knife before someone saw it and reported it. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon is live at Wells Road Intermediate School with more from parents who I would imagine, Dylan, are pretty concerned. Well, Mark, they're very concerned about what happened here yesterday, but also about other incidents involving students bringing weapons to school in towns like Manchester, Meriden, and Hamden. It was clear that he or she had made a really big mistake. That's how parents and school officials are describing what happened inside Wells Road Intermediate School. A fifth grader yesterday bringing a knife to school, showing it to several classmates. If you see something, say something, it's really important that, you know, you tell a teacher, that you tell someone, you know, tell an adult at the school, tell your mom, tell your dad. A child did see and say something. School staff stepped in immediately. Granby Superintendent Jordan Grossman today says the student had no ill intentions and no student was ever at risk. This student made a terrible mistake by bringing this item onto school grounds, adding, we have zero tolerance for this type of behavior and will continue to be diligent in our efforts to keep our school and your students safe. But parents are still concerned after five reported incidents in two months involving students bringing weapons to school. This map shows the five incidents. Close by in East Granby, a student brought two guns to an elementary school in early December. Plus, recent incidents involving guns on school grounds in Manchester and Meriden. Two girls at Hamden High were just charged yesterday for allegedly having a stun gun resembling a cell phone during an argument. Our teachers are very concerned about this. Kate Diaz is the president of the Connecticut Education Association. Of course, parents and students are worried after these incidents, but teachers are upset too. And so when you package the, the pay, the pressures, the, the questions about safety all together, you really come to the conclusion that we have, which is a significant portion of our teachers are rethinking their career choice at much to their own dismay. I think the teachers, I think the students, I think everybody has a fair concern about their safety and well-being in the school. The school didn't mention how the student obtained the knife and then brought it into the school yesterday, but they're reminding students if they see something, to say something and report it immediately. We're live in Granby tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.